Hello, today we're going to look at growing rhododendrons from seed and I have here some spent seed pods from a rhododendron that I just picked from out the back. You can see the seed pods there have opened up. The seeds themselves are absolutely minuscule. That's some there, there's my finger for comparison. They're absolutely tiny. So what you want to do is sort of mid-winter, roughly, is when I gathered these seeds. You need to go out and keep an eye on these pods and just when they're starting to split open so they'll start out closed up in a long cylinder that will turn brown and then over winter they'll start to open, start to split open. So if you grab them when they're just starting to split open, put them in a bag or a box and leave them somewhere warm and eventually they'll release all these tiny little seeds and you also end up with a lot of rubbish in there too and dust. So what I've got is a USB microscope here. So I'm just going to have a quick look at what these look like under the microscope. So what you'll see is that the actual seeds are quite long and narrow and slightly fattened in the middle, so slightly raised in the middle. Usually you'll find one end of the seeds is quite hairy, so it's got a little hairy little protuberance on it, and the other end uh, slightly less so. So long and slim, slightly raised in the middle. So under the microscope it's quite easy to identify which are the uh, actual seeds and which is just the chaff and the rubbish. So this is my first year trying to grow these from seeds, so I've tried two different techniques, one using sphagnum moss and one using vermiculite, so go out and have a look at them just germinating. So here you can see where I've planted four different uh, types here and I've got on the left with some sphagnum moss that I've just uh, rubbed between two hands to get it to a reasonably fine, it's not a powder, but a reasonably fine state. And on the right we've got just a layer of vermiculite on top of potting mix. So if we have a look, these were planted about a month ago, just in early early spring. So if we look and see, you can see the odd one germinating there, if I can get this to focus. And here in the sphagnum you can see there's quite a lot germinating in there. Just tiny, tiny little leaves just there. Here. See how close I can get here. So you can see down here there's quite a few. So what I'll do is get the microscope and have a look at these up close if I can. You'll see just how tiny they are. And what we have here is a seedling. This one's been in a pot for a year. This one was actually uh, self-sown that I found underneath an existing rhododendron growing in the moss. So it was quite small when I transplanted it. Now you can see it's probably 15 centimetres high after a year growing in that pot. So what I'll do is I'll let these grow on for a year in here and then transplant them into pots at the end of this summer 